Amritsar, the northern Indian city best known for the Golden Temple, the holiest shrine of Sikhs. But now it's also being known for being the 14th most polluted city in the world. As a result, the Golden Temple itself has become a victim of the killer air right here. 430 years, it's been a symbol of purity. The gold in the Golden Temple now associated with dust too. According to a World Health Organization report, Amritsar is now the ninth most polluted city of India and the 14th in the world. The pollution here has left the famous gold-plated walls of the Sikh temple looking dusty, dingy and dull. A variety of studies which have taken place. The Punjab Pollution Control Board has done its own specific study in 2011. You have the IIT Delhi which uh, co-joined with the uh, Punjab Pollution Control Board which has also done a study about air pollution and they've come out with the conclusion that the, that the PM matter and, and other pollutants are about about two to three times the permissible levels. So definitely, yes, air pollution is playing a huge part in, in, in dulling the guilting of the Golden Temple. While walking towards the Holy Shrine, we see encroachments, unregulated construction and open garbage dumps. It is ironical that a place where millions for time immemorial have come to purify themselves, the Golden Temple itself is now a victim of air pollution. That is the state of Amritsar and it's symbolic that its most iconic structure and not just of Amritsar, probably of North India, that is an area where you have air pollution striking it. The gold plated walls, the iconic ones of the Golden Temple, they are currently duller and dingier than they ever were and that's all because of the harmful effects of air pollution. So what is the Punjab government and the temple's controlling body, the Shirumani Gurudwara Prabandha Committee or the SGPC doing about the damage? We used to have the fireworks here on Diwali, Guru Ram Das birthday and other various occasions also. It has been stopped now. And if you do the Deepavali, if you do the lightning, it's only for 5-10 minutes only now. So we are taking all the steps here. The langar which is being cooked there, it is 90% now on the cooking, on the gas only now. We are not using firewood or the coal. But are these well-meaning efforts enough to counter the heavy pollution in Amritsar? There are plans for a new modern kitchen which will use only gas, not wood, battery-operated vehicles to ferry people to the premises and a complete ban on traffic near the Golden Temple. But is all this too little too late to restore the Golden Temple its lost sheen? With Ashwani Mehra in Amritsar, Amitod Singh for NDTV. All right, now Amitod is at the Golden Temple, but before I go across to him, I just want to show you some fabulous footage that we have of the Golden Temple. This is a 360 degree view of the Golden Temple. And really, I mean, as you can see, it captures the great beauty, the sublime peacefulness of this beautiful, beautiful site. Now, we're able to get you this panoramic view thanks to an exciting new camera that we're using at NDTV. And really, we're just the only network in India who actually is using this 360 camera. It's essentially two fisheye lenses. They're mounted back to back in the camera. The two separate images, which have both got um, cameras which really give you both directions covered and they are then merged to give you a wrap around 360 degree view as you can see right here this is 360 degree beautiful panoramic view of the golden temple so of course it's just part of our efforts to give you the best only the best for our viewers and as you can see we're, we're quite pleased with this camera and we'll continue to bring you more shoots where we're using all of this